<clears throat> Hi, good morning. It's Saturday the 18th of uh, March 2023. I hope everybody had a good week. Um, uh, it was a good week. Uh, yesterday I went to my niece's, uh, they had like a shower for her, which is real nice in the com like, community center where my sister lives, uh, which is a nice space like on the second floor, real big room, and they had it all decorated and stuff, and it was nice. It was really nice. <laughs> I saw my my brother came from Albany with his two daughters. They were there, and my I saw my brother. This was my sister, and my oldest brother. He picked me up, and we went over there, and saw my niece and stuff, and you know, and my nieces and stuff, a lot of relatives and stuff. And it was a good time. I had good food there, and there's some dancing. I took some video of my brother dancing, and now my brother, who was like I talked about before on this uh, my vlog about my oldest brother. He you know he had the heart problems and stuff. And, you know, he, he was saying he's doing better. He's exercising now and stuff more, which is good, eating right and stuff. And he even got up to dance, which is funny. I had to record that. Him and my other brother <laughs> got up and danced. I took that. Then even my youngest brother, he got up there, started dancing in front of his daughters and stuff. I think that was really fun. It was a good time. Yeah. I think, it, you know, he got there, I think, just a little bit after 8, I think. And I think they had to pack up, you know, just before 11 and stuff. And it was nice, though. It was a, a really nice time and stuff. I bought my niece uh, one of those baby changer things. I think it's uh, that she had it in her registry that you lay the baby on the top of it and then you, you can change the diaper there and then underneath it it has like, you know, I guess you put the diapers in there and the cloths and baby powder or whatever in it and stuff. So she's supposed to get it. I don't think she got it yet. She said, I, I think she was supposed to get it Thursday. Uh, but um, hopefully she gets it and she should get it, I think, either uh, maybe today or maybe tomorrow. I don't know if nobody was home or whatever when they deliver, tried to deliver it. Because I think she was supposed to get it by Thursday. Uh, it they were supposed to deliver it to her house, but we'll see. Because uh, uh, I'm sure they all try to deliver it a couple of times. Or I think sometimes what they do with Amazon is they put they send it to a, like a delivery station and you can pick it up from there. Or if not, then, then I think they'll send it back. But anyway, um, it was a good time. We had a good time because at first I wasn't really into it. I didn't kind of really go because, you know, it's a girl's baby shower and stuff. But it was good. It was nice, though. We had good food, we had dancing, and uh, got to hang out with my relatives and stuff, which is good. You know, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I kind of appreciate, you know, I grew up in a big family, uh, you know, seven and six brothers and three sisters. So I kind of appreciate my privacy now. You know, I live with my stepfather now, and I, but, I, you know, I keep to myself for the most part. And so it's rare occasions that we get together. So um, it was nice. Okay, it was really nice. So I appreciate that. Anyway, um, uh, today I'm going to see Shazam, Fear of the Gods. I heard it get good reviews, but I was going to go see it anyway because I really liked the first movie. And this one's good. And I know already they already spoiled that Wonder Woman's going to be a cameo in this movie. We know that she's going to have a cameo in this movie, which I'm looking forward to. And just like I said, the Flash movie, like I said, with the Flash movie, we know that the, C, um, the DCU is starting over, the DCU Studios is going to start over with the Flash movie. So we might as well leave all the cameos in. We know it's not going to lead any, lead to anything, but leave the cameos in. Because I think they filmed a cameo with Henry Cavill. I think Wonder Woman 2 may be in it. And we know Batman's in it. Uh, you know, Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck. Uh, so they might as well keep them in it keep the cameos in it just for the people or even if you're going to do that uh release two versions of the movie one with all the cameos in it i think that'd be i think that would be stupid not to i mean the the trailer was awesome and people are going to, i think are definitely interested in seeing this flash movie because it looks really good but keep all the cameos in it we know it's not leading to anything okay we already know that superman legacy is going to start the dcu uh dc studios thing so Let's leave all the cameos in, just you know, so people can like you know, like one one last goodbye to to for people. And also, there's supposed to be another cameo. I think I think there's supposed to be an after credit scene in there, but I already got kind of spoiled with it. I think I think I know what it is, but because I think I heard them talking about it. But I'll see what it is. But I know there's supposed to be a, I think a post credit scene, and I think there's uh you know we know Wonder Woman's in this. We already kind of knew that from the beginning that she was in this movie, but she's in this movie in a different way than I thought she was going to be in the movie, which I think is cool. And like I said, they spoiled it in the TV spot because they want people to see it because they, they think this movie's not going to make as much money this weekend, which is a shame, but I'm going to see it today. Like I said, cause I'm a big, I've 
big Suzanne fan. I love the first movie. And so uh, I think Zachary Levi is uh, really good as Suzanne. And hopefully maybe they'll carry him over. I know people don't like that they do a partial reboot, not a full reboot. But I don't mind if they keep the Suzanne, uh, Zachary Levi's character. Because he's, uh, he's, you know, they're... Or they could like keep it as a separate thing if they don't want to put him in the proper DC uh, studio. They can just keep it as a separate thing and make a third movie. I, I would be very much a fan of that because I think uh, uh, the director, who's a horror director, David, uh, I forgot his name, San Sanders or something. Anyway, he's a good uh, F, David F. Sandberg. I think that's his name. He's a really good director and he really hits it out of the park, especially with the first movie. And I think this movie is going to be really good as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to see the 11 o'clock showing. Okay, so the movie should be over by one thirty. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go try to get a haircut. Um, the thing is, they I hate that they did. They, there was a, used to be a bus. I used to be able to catch the forty one bus to the thirty six bus, and you know, then you know, go up the and then you know the thirty six bus would drop me off in front of the barber shop. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is um I'm gonna get off the train on the concourse. Walk down the hill. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of walking to do. Cause I think that's what I did. No, the last time what I did when I got my hair cut, I, I took a cab over there to the place. Um, and then I just walked down the hill after the got haircut, walked down the hill and caught the 41 bus, you know, back home. Uh, so I think I'm what I do if I, I want to text uh, uh, the guy who cuts my hair and see if he's working today and just tell him. I'm going to see if I can get there, see if I can get uptown by 2, and then walk. I think it'll take me about 20, maybe 20 minutes to walk, 20, 20 depending on how fast I walk. I'm a pretty fast walker. Uh, maybe 20, 25 minutes to walk to the barbershop because I have to walk down the hill and then walk over and then walk up the hill and then walk you know, down. The, so that may take me like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how fast I walk because I walk pretty because I know I can walk down the hill in like five, six minutes. I'm a pretty fast walker. Because uh, I walk down the hill, I'm going to walk a couple of blocks over, and then walk up the hill, and then, you know, down a couple of blocks that way. So I'm going to see if I'm going to text him before I leave to go to I'm going to leave in about 30 minutes. Wait, hold on. Yeah, about 30 minutes. I'm leaving my house, you know, catch the D train to the movie theater. Uh, and just, you know, so that way I'll, I'll text him just to make sure and see if he's, uh, the fact I was recording this, I'm going to text him because I was thinking maybe I should, well, maybe I should get my hair cut tomorrow. Although, like I said, I don't want to do nothing Saturday, Sunday. I don't want to get up early or anything. Uh, hmm. I was trying to think if I should, or if I should get my hair cut on. It's coming Friday. Like get off when I get off from work, just nah, but I'm not I'm not no, I'd rather get the hair cut in the daytime. So that's what yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'll, what I'll do is um I'll get up the train on the concourse, walk down the hill, okay, and then walk over, and then walk up this and just walk to the barb shop. I just have to do that until I know there's a um I think Actually, you know what? Hold on. No. That's not the way to do it. Um, or what I could do is... um, I know what I could do. I could walk down the hill, get off at Fordham, walk down the hill, catch the 55, and it'll leave me... Yeah, there we go. I could walk down the hill, Fordham Road, and then take the 55 bus and... It'll let me off, like, right a couple of blocks over from where the barbershop is. I think I may do it that way. Just walk down the hill, catch the 55 bus, and then just get off at 180th where the barbershop is and then walk over. I think that might be a better way than walking all the way down the hill and then walking all the way up the hill and then walking down the block. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I think that's a better way to do it. I'll walk all the way down the hill at Fordham and catch the 55 bus and then just, yeah, and get off at 180th, yeah. I think that's what, because that's what I used to do when my, when my brother was in the hospital 
when I get off of work and I went to go see him, I would get off at at um Fordham, walk down the hill, catch the 55 bus, then get off because the 55 bus would stop in front of the hospital, and then get off there and then we you know walk to the hospital and then take the 55 bus back. In fact, I could do that, but I'm not gonna do that to go back. When I'm on the then on the way back, I'll just walk. I'll walk a couple of blocks down and then walk down the hill to catch the the 41 bus. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's a better way, I think, than getting off at uh, like a Burnside and then walking down the hill and then walking over and then walking all the way up and then walking down. That's a little bit too much walking. When all I can do is just walk down the hill on Fordham, take the 55, get off at 180th, and then walk a couple of blocks down, like to the left, and the barbershop is on the right. Yeah. So I'll just text um the guy that you know that cuts my hair and tell him that I'm coming. That I should be there, hopefully by 2.30, quarter to, something like that. See if he's still working there, because I don't know how long he stays there. So I'll just let him know that I'm coming. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll text him after this. But anyway, uh, I also recorded my reaction to uh, The Mandalorian the other day, and also Superman and Lois. I just have to edit it. So when I come back from the barbershop, and, you know, I got to do my food shopping and stuff, and then I'll, when I get back in the house... I'll start editing, working on editing those, uh, the Superman and Lois, uh, episode one and Superman, uh, uh, the Mandalorian season three, episode three. I have to edit those two videos and hopefully I can get those up. If not today, tomorrow, which I think I should be able to get at least one of them up today. Okay. Okay. And last of us is over. So there's no more of that. And, uh, also, um, I may do a, um, Another video from my other channel. I, I put up another video about the whole Little Mermaid controversy. I, I have yet to do a video about the whole Tucker Carlson, uh, you know, selectively editing that you know January sixth footage and trying to get it. And also, you have the fact that Trump may be getting may be getting indicted, which uh, this week sometime, which is will be a historic moment in history actually when you think about it, because I don't think any other president has been indicted. Uh, uh, so anyway. So yeah, uh, oh yeah. So look for my review of uh, Sazam, and then I'll do a. I don't know if I should do a regular review of Sam, and then a spoilers review of Sazam, uh, where I talk about the cameos and all that other stuff. I may do those two, or just one video where I just spoil everything. Uh, okay, I'll think about it when I come home. But I have so look look forward to this video. Obviously the Sazam review, which may have spoilers in it, and then maybe a regular one with spoilers in it. Okay, and then my edited review. Of, edit the reaction to The Mandalorian and Superman and Lois. Okay, hopefully those videos will go up this weekend sometime. I don't want to guarantee, because I remember last time I was trying to do it with Scream, and then I think I fell asleep in my chair, and I wound up doing it after midnight and stuff, so hopefully I can do that. But yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to text Porky after I finish uh, editing this. Um, after I finish uh, recording this, I'm going to text him to tell him, see if he's going to be there by 2.33, because, like I said, because I should get off the train. The movie should be over like one thirty, and I should hopefully be able to get up town uh, by 2 o'clock, I think, a little bit after 2. Then, you know, I just got to walk down the hill on Fordham and catch the 55 bus, get off at 180th, and then walk over. And that that's a quick way to get to the barbershop rather than getting off at Burnside and walking all the way down the hill. Then, like I... Used to when I used to have to go to the other barbershop, I just would get off the train and then walk down the hill, and the barbershop was right there on the left. But this way, I would have to walk all the way down to get the pork, to walk that all the way down the hill, walk over, and then walk all the way up the hill, and then walk a couple of blocks over. That's a lot of walking, which I don't have to do. I can just get off it, walk down the hill once and on Fordham and catch the 55 bus and get off at 180th, and then just walk couple of blocks over to where the barbershop is. So that's what I'll do. I'll call Porky and I'll text him now and see if he's going to be open there. So anyway, I got to get dressed now because I'm getting ready to, to leave, <laughs> to leave here a quarter to, uh, to get the, get the movie, Sazam, Fear of the Guards, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Okay. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. Uh, okay. 
Again, I'll leave uh, links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, I'll link to my other channel, Five Views and Opinions. If you check that out as well. Also, I'll link down below to my patron. I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere, probably right here. Okay, F patrons only $5 a month. Tons of content on there, tons of an ed edited content on there. Marvel shows, DC shows, movies on there as well. I redesigned the banner page. Again, only $5 a month. Tons of unedited content on there. Also, um, follow the link below to the page and check it out. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and I truly appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.